we want to solve the given equations. All four of these equations are considered one-step equations because we can solve for the variable by performing one operation to both sides of the equation. So our first equation is negative six t equals twenty-four and negative six t means negative six times t. So to undo this multiplication and solve for t, we would divide both sides by negative six. Notice on the left side, negative six divided by negative six simplifies to one. One times t is t. On the right side we have twenty-four divided by negative six, which equals negative four. So our solution is t equals negative four. We can always check our solutions by performing substitution into the equation. And let's go ahead and show this on this first equation. If we have the equation negative six t equals twenty-four, and our solution is t equals negative four, if we substitute negative four for t, it must satisfy the equation. And notice here it does because negative six times negative four equals twenty-four, and twenty-four of course equals twenty-four. So our solution checks. So every time we solve an equation, we can always perform substitution to check our solution. Our next equation is y divided by five equals negative eight. Again, the fraction bar means division, so to solve the equation for y, or isolate y on one side of the equation, we want to undo this division. So to undo divided by five, we perform the opposite operation, so we'll multiply both sides of the equation by five. Notice on the left side, because this is in fraction form, we might want to write five as five over one. Notice here before multiplying we can simplify. Five over five simplifies to one, so we have one times y or just y equals, on the right side we have five times negative eight, which is equal to negative forty. So our solution is y equals negative forty. Let's go ahead and check the solution as well. Y divided by five equals negative eight. So if the solution is y equals negative forty, we'll substitute negative forty for y, so we'd have negative forty divided by five equals negative eight, which is true. Negative forty divided by five is equal to negative eight. We won't check the remaining two equations, but you may want to. Our next equation is four sevenths m equals negative eight. So here we have four sevenths m, which means four sevenths times m. So we're probably thinking we should divide both sides by four sevenths to isolate m on the left side of the equation. But remember, instead of dividing by a fraction, we normally multiply by the reciprocal. So instead of dividing by four sevenths on both sides, here we'll multiply both sides by seven fourths, which is a reciprocal of four sevenths. Notice on the left side, seven divided by seven simplifies to one, and so does four divided by four. So we have one times m or m equals, on the right side, let's go ahead and write negative eight as a fraction, so we have a denominator of one. Notice here there's a common factor of four. There's one four and four, and two fours and eight. But notice how this is going to be negative two. So on the right side we have seven times negative two, which is equal to negative fourteen. So our solution is m equals negative fourteen. And for the last example we have negative six sevenths r equals six. So negative six sevenths r means negative six sevenths times r. So again we're probably thinking we should divide both sides by negative six sevenths. But instead of dividing by negative six sevenths, we'll multiply both sides by the reciprocal which would be negative seven six. So we'll multiply both sides of the equation by negative seven six. We know the product of reciprocals is always equal to one. Seven over seven simplifies to one, six over six simplifies to one. So we have negative one times negative one times r, which is just r. Now looking at the right side, notice how before we multiply we can simplify. Six divided by six simplifies to one. So on the right side we have negative seven times one, which equals negative seven, which is our solution, r equals negative seven. I hope you found this helpful.